Hi, my name is Maz, and here's a video about how to post an event from a script. I'm gonna show you this process two times. First, I'm gonna show you how quick I can do this. Afterwards, I'm gonna do it all again with more explanations to what I'm doing. In the left side, you see Unity, and in the right side, you see Visual Studio, which is the code editor I'm using. I will be using the Audio Connect certification 301 lesson four, posting events using wise type scene. So first we need to add a script somewhere and then we need to make a event property. And lastly, we need to post the event that we set in that property. First, let's select the player because the player is fairly close to the main camera. And to add a script, you go to the add component, go to the button, select new script and call it post wise event. And in the script property, you can double click to open the script in the code editor. So to make a property, you go in under the post wise event class, same as the script, and somewhere outside the functions, you write AK wise event, which is the type of it, and then my event, which is just the name of it, and then finish off with a semicolon, which is ending the line of this property. But in order to see this property in the inspector, you need to add a access modifier. In our case, we need the public access modifier. So in front of it all, type public and add a space. When you enter play mode, start will be called once. So in this start function, you can simply write the name, my event, then a period, and type in post, then add the parentheses. Then we need to reference a game object. In our case, that's the player. And you reference that by writing game object. And like before, we add a semicolon to complete the line. And lastly, you need to go into file and save the script so Unity will know there has been changes made. Then head into Unity. Unity might freeze for a second and then you'll see a my event property in the inspector. You can now select an event. So click the wise type event property and go to events, go to destruction, region specific and take the rock destroy because that's a very noticeable sound. All you need to do now is press play. If you did what I did, then you should be able to hear a destruction rock destroy sound once entering play mode. So let's talk about what we actually did. So let's delete the script, exit the script in the Visual Studio, and then remove the component from the player. Now let's go through in detail how to add a wise event to a script. So in the hierarchy, there's a lot of game objects. When adding a script, you need to add a script onto a game object but you can add the script to any game object in the hierarchy. In the wise adventure game, the listener is found on the main camera. You'll see it right here. And therefore let's add a script to the player game object because the player is fairly close to the main camera. So to add a script, you go into the inspector and click add component. Here you can add a lot of different components, but we need to make a new script with a new kind of behavior. So you go to the button and you find something called new script. And here let's call the script post wise event. Make sure you are not making any spelling mistakes in this script because you're going to reuse this script in the 301 certification. And it's not that easy to rename a script in Unity. So just make a name that makes sense to begin with and click create and add. Now to open a script, you can go into the project view where the script will be in the assets folder or you can on the player click the script property post wise event and then it will show up in your code editor. What you notice is that the script is not empty. There's a lot of things that are already defined. In the top, you have the namespaces, which is just references to a collection of classes that we can use in the script. Then you'll see the class. And this is a class that you will see in the inspector. Within this class, you have two functions. A start function that is triggered one time as you enter play mode and a update function, which is triggered every frame. In our case, we only need to post the event once so you can safely delete the update function. Highlight the update function, including the curly brackets and including the comment above and press delete. Next, you need to make a property. And to make a property, you go into the class somewhere outside a function. You first declare a type. In our case, we need the wise type event. And to access that, you write AK wise and then event. So type AK and a period. And notice it already suggests that the next word is gonna be wise. And here you can either double click it or you can simply type it in. Now to look inside this wise class, you add another period. And here you have a lot of wise types at your disposal. What we need is the event wise type. So you can simply press E and then notice that the IntelliSense drop down already suggests that it's gonna be the event. 
So you can double click that or type it in manually. And this is the type. Secondly, you need to declare a name for it. So let's just call it my event. So add a space and write my event. So now you have two parts. You are making a new property called my event and it needs to be of the type AKY's event. And to finish off this line, you add a semicolon. And let's save the script and have a look in Unity. Notice that you won't see any property in the inspector. And that's because the my event property by default will have a private access modifier. So the Unity inspector will not be able to see it. To make it visible in the inspector, you can add the access modifier called public. And you write that in front of the type and then a space. Save the script again and then head into Unity. Once Unity has loaded, you will see a property in the inspector. This is a wise type event property. So let's select an event by clicking the property drawer and then go to events and take something noticeable. So destruction, region specific and destruction rock destroy. Let's return to the script. Now, right now you've made a property and so the event is stored in the script, but currently you're not doing anything with it. And what you need to do is post the event. So head back into the script and go into the start function, which is where we're going to post the script. This function is called whenever you enter play mode. That means that when you press the play button and the game has initialized, this function will be called. And so you can write my event, the name of the event, add a period, and you can look in the drop down for the post function and simply double click it, then add a set of parentheses. The post function needs to know where to post the sound. And for that, you need to give it a game object. The game object where we're going to post the sound is the player. And since the post wise event script is attached to the player game object, then you can just reference game object and the script will look at the game object it's attached to. And lastly, notice the small red line after the my event call. And that means that the script has an error. The problem here is that we haven't added a semicolon, just like in the property above. So let's finish off the line by adding a semicolon and now go into file and save the script again. And you can now press play. If you ever want this script to be somewhere else in the scene, say we want it to be attached to this tree, for example, then you can just click the player where the script is, drag and hold the title bar and then drag it on to the game object that you want to post it from. And once you enter play mode, you will hear the sound from that object instead. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.